What's up, y'all? This your girl go mouth. Listen, y'all, I just came from therapy. Oh, my God. When I tell you I have been <laughs> stretched beyond measure, golly. Um, it was very good. The lady was very nice. Um, if you live in the Montgomery area, listen, I only went one time. This is my first trip. Phoenix. It's called Phoenix Rehabilitation Center. Let me see. It got the name on the building. Child, I can't read it, but Phoenix. Um, the lady was really nice. The customer service was really good. I mean, it was like over the top good because she came in smiling and laughing. And I'm like, girl, why are you so happy? You know, <laughs> you finna stretch me out. But listen, she... I have been trying to find out the pain that's, you know, I've been hurting y'all and I can't, I don't know how to describe the pain that I'm feeling because I always say my hips hurt, this hurt, that hurt, but she pinpointed exactly where it hurt because y'all, I have been trying to stretch myself. I got my husband to help stretch me, but I couldn't find the stretch. I done been YouTubing how to stretch. Listen. I went in there and explained to the lady the same way I explained to everybody else what hurt. And she listened to me. She wrote right down things. And then she made me do certain moves that didn't have nothing to do with my hips. They had something to do with my feet and, you know, my legs that made my hips stretch. And I'm like, lady, I have been trying to stretch and help make myself feel better and do different things, you know, moves. And I have I have not been able to pinpoint where exactly where I heard it. She did it on the first try and she was like, try this move. Does it take? Can you feel the pain now? Yes. I mean, I'm glad I came, even though, Lord, I'm hurting so bad right now because she told me it was going to hurt. She told me tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to feel so like I done been hit by a, a dump truck. But <laughs> I'm glad she actually finally found my pain. Like, I wasn't able to find it because I was like, man, I ain't going to therapy. I'm just going to, you know, get on the exercise bike and do this. It didn't work. It wasn't working, y'all. It was way more than what the exercise bike could do. So my doctor had prescribed me to go to come to therapy that because you know the things I went through with the chemo and the radiation and just cancer all in general you know um she said my hips were my left hip was higher than my right hip and she had to realign and honey she was pulling my legs and I was like oh god she said she realigned me um which I ain't never had nobody stand at the end of the thing and pull my leg. She was pulling my left leg real hard because she said um, by everything that I had went through and or whatever, maybe the way I was walking, because she, she said that a lot of people feel pain in one area can hurt another area, which she was explaining to me that how I started feeling pain, she said, because maybe the pain that, you know, that I was feeling going through treatment and all of that over these, you know, these last months and the stress that I was causing on the the, the way that I was trying to protect that area, it put stress on the other area of my body. So that what, that's what made all of my pain is just everywhere. Every time she moved me, it was in unique ways that I wouldn't have thought of to do at home. So I'm glad I came to therapy because me and my husband, we've been trying to figure out. He was like, you sure you hurt? Yeah, I'm hurting. I just can't tell you where it hurt at. I can't touch it. It's on the inside. I can't, you know, it was so difficult. But I'm so glad I came to therapy, y'all. And um, she waived my copay, which is good. So she said I didn't have to pay the copay every time I come. If I didn't have it, just let her know, which was, listen, God was good with me for me to to me on this appointment right here y'all because I was like Lord I just paid the copay to the doctor the other day just so I could come to therapy just to pay another copay and I'm like Jesus so we got that out of the way um so I gotta come back next week today I'm just sitting I gotta sit in the park a lot for right now y'all because I'm throbbing like for real for real it hurted me more because I was like I'm barely walking now um, because she, she told me that that was going to be like that because I have, she stretched muscles that I ain't never stretched before, honey. 
I ain't never even know I had them extra muscles that she stretched. And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. So everybody walking in here limping, child. This lady got a cane. Other lady had crutches. I'm just in the cripple category, Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting better, though, y'all. Um, Y'all don't worry about my hair, honey, because I was trying to find me a little stab, but child. <laughs> We gonna run that bridge when I get to it. Look at this, and I don't live this. Y'all see, uh, yeah, it ain't. <laughs> Wait for it. I'm gonna try some, try some things. I got to, I got to regroup, honey, cause my legs hurt. I couldn't, you know, because y'all, I had, I was having problems. I've been having problems lifting my leg up, going upstairs, stepping up, lift, going up with my legs, going back. I mean, it's just been a problem with me for the last. Gosh. Ever since that last surgery, when I got the brachytherapy done for the um for the radiation, it's been hard, y'all. It's been a long, hard journey. It's a lot of things that I don't show you guys. You know, those times when I vlog in the grocery store and stuff, I be thanking God that I can even last on the camera for 10 minutes without, you know, because I be so tired once I leave the grocery store because of all that walking. And then when I get in the wheelchair, it's like, okay, I want to try to, I be trying my best to be more independent by walking, but sometimes I feel like I need a wheelchair. But then I'm like, no, I don't need no wheelchair. I'm going to walk. And she told me she wanted me to be uh, move around more walking and then she wanted me to tr see if I could do some of the exercises you know when I'm home and stuff instead of you know uh being still she want me to move around more so I'm gonna try to do that y'all I'll bring y'all with me if I see if I'm gonna move around a little bit honey because that thing whoo I'm hurt right now. I'm hurt. We're going to take a chill pill for the next couple of days. But, yeah, I was just coming to give y'all my update on my therapy and how it went. It was great. It was I, it was great because the lady was great. The people was great. The lady at the desk was great. You know, ain't nobody had no attitude. Everybody was smiling. I love that kind of atmosphere, you know. I don't like to feel like, okay, she finna, oh, God, she going to hurt me. I thought I was going to, you know, if I would have had a man, I would have been feeling like he would have pulled my leg off the way she was pulling me. She was real gentle and everything. Thing. And, and I, I like that. I appreciate that, y'all. So shout out to Phoenix um, Rehabilitation Center in Montgomery, Alabama. So I usually don't shout out places, but this is a good place to, to come if you need therapy. And the environment, everything was clean. All the people were smiling and nice. And they kind of like, girl, it was like a, a, a rehab Chick-fil-A. You know how you go to Chick-fil-A and everybody be smiling and happy to see you and ready to get you your food and don't be messing up nothing. That's what I felt like in here. I really want to go to Chick-fil-A now. But anyways, y'all, let me get out this video now. Thank y'all so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.